Bonjour, my lovely. Today I'm going to show you how to look from this to this. Oh, so exciting. So this is the Varol Glow Latte Makeup Look and I'm going to show you how it works as well for mature skin. I see it everywhere on social media and I thought I need to try it. It's such a beautiful look that suits any type of face, any type of age and it keeps as well your summer glow. So let's have some fun. So I already prepped my skin put some vitamin c always have vitamin c in a serum in the morning and then i put argon oil it's from yves saint laurent i truly love it because it works as well as a prep it's like also blurring a bit my skin obviously i will link all the products or something similar in the description box and don't forget to subscribe preparing your skin is the most important obviously to every morning but as well when you want to have your makeup last for a very long Time. The thing I'm applying crazily because I moved to Bali for the ladies who doesn't know yet. So this is why I'm naturally tan. Um, I'm always, always using the Aven 50 plus. If I was wearing a décolletage, I will also put whatever I have left and then I have a sunscreen for the rest of my body. So for the foundation, I decided to go with a liquid foundation. I'm using the Christian Dior or whatever I have left on it. I always putting a little bit inside of my hands to get it a bit warmer, but where I am right now, it's super warm. So if you see, pick something in you color tone for a liquid foundation you use a brush so i'm going to use this kabuki it's flat it's perfect for foundation when it's something a little bit thicker as a foundation it's probably better to use a, a blender for that but i really don't want a perfect look i just want to look glowy shiny healthy like i'm in a holiday which i am somewhere and i never put a ton of it it's literally just to unify a little bit of my skin and if you think sometimes the brush is a little bit dry use some setting spray my favorite and the only one i'm using actually is the urban decay you can humidify a little bit oh yeah it does help to apply much faster i'm using l'oreal because i love this little kabuki the color i'm using is brunette just a tip for the eyebrows never go too dark in the star little bit darker in the middle and just a little bit like that if you wear glasses like me and to do something much more precise like your eyebrows Get a mirror, a magnifying mirror. Mirror. This one is 20. Oh, changed my life. Because we want a bit of a dewy and glowing, so I'm always using L'Oreal Illuminator. Mine is really dark because I have the skin tone for that, but uh, they have so many tones, and you can just apply when you have the most important angle. So it's like almost you, where you're being a little bit touched by the sun. It just gave me the, the glow that I need and I'm like right now I'm glowing and this is exactly what we're looking for all right so now we're gonna use a palette color palette so I use the vegan tartelette I got this one for such a long time wonder which color I'm going but I think I'm gonna go with this one I so love this color because I love I love this palette actually I love this brand because it's just so easy to apply even for someone who is not an expert in makeup don't be shy don't be precise don't worry about it we're gonna make it super shiny so I'm using those focalure from Amazon the cream eyeshadow the matte but we're gonna fix that the life I just I just love it so let's took the mirror and then I'm gonna apply just on top because the eyeshadow was more like a primer or like a base, but was creamy one. Not only they so easy to apply, do a fantastic job. And you want to create a little bit of a 3D effect. And if you do a bit of a blending again, I love those starts vegan brushes always with me to have a little bit more intensity on the top. Then I got this stick eyeshadow and uh, one is a little bit, a little sponge. Usually I use my finger and the other one is something shimmery. I usually never put anything shimmery, but you can just put a little bit of the scent. Oh my gosh, look at this color. Wow. It just popped, isn't it? For the mascara, so because I'm not using any eyeliner, I'm going to 
curl this eyelashes as long as I can. So I'm always using the telescopic mascara from L'Oreal. I tried a ton of them. No, this is the one. So the thing I'm gonna do, you don't have to do this step, but I just really, really lightly, I put one on the top. That's it. This is what I do. And don't worry if you're messy with the mascara, you just have to wait that is drying up before cleaning up. Do not remove your mascara mistake when the mascara is wet, because it's gonna be messy. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. I'm just using the same eyeshadow that I use as a eyeliner, just a little bit underneath, and I'm just gonna do a little bit of the waterline to give a little bit more definition into my eyes. You don't have to do that, but I think it's really nice and really sexy it looks almost sultry you don't have to be an expert in makeup to do this look this is why i look it so much because i'm such a messy girl when i do my makeup i'm like Whoa. add a little bit of concealer just a touch here to have a little bit of a lift with the eyebrows and then underneath i have dark circles always but i'm not doing the crazy triangle of anything and I find this cute little baby beauty blender. And if you can lift up a bit your concealer, but don't go too crazy with the concealer. We want a natural look. We want more like, hey, I just come back from the beach, you know? Oh, you see the lift on the uh, eyebrows? That's the secret as well. You can even put a little bit touch of light on the top when usually the natural light will hit a face. All right, so this is the final look for the eyes. Now we're going to add even more glow with the skin. This video is kindly sponsored by Norgreen, a Scandinavian company that I loved for years because of the beautiful, minimalist, timeless, just classy watches. Because they have standards and social and environmental impact. So look at the packaging, it's made of recycled paper and plastic bottle and it's designed to use as little as material as possible. Today I'm wearing the best seller and a new one actually, which is called Unica for Unique with a white dial and chain strap. It's so classic, so timeless. I just love it actually. It's almost looked like a piece of jewelry. Such a classic watch, but in the same time, I mean, it will fit any type of people. Look at this gorgeous bracelet. I love it. <laughs> you can tell by the smile, I just love it. Because every time they would sell a watch as well, they contribute to a meaningful cause and they left the customers to pick the cause which resonate the most with them, which is super important. So you can choose from supplying clean drinking water to villages in the Central Africa Republic, or water for goods, or educating children in India, or protecting the rainforest from cool earth, which is really close to my heart especially for this one don't hesitate visit norgreen website today and get access to as well to my amazing coupon of 15 percent just type fred and you will get the 15 percent off on the checkout and trust me you will love the watches as much as i love them and uh, thank you so much again norgreen for collaborating with me it's always a pleasure this one is going to stay with me for a long time i'm a bronzer lover so the bronzer that i'm using right now is called physician formula and i'm going to show you how much i love it i'm i'm ashamed to show you that so you can define a little bit your nose if you want to you don't have to do it but i'm just like if i can make my nose a little bit slimmer why not then i always do a lot of the natural cheekbones okay so just go up mixed inside of your hair as well and always do like a little bit in the air so it's blending a lot and then i do a lot of my jawline because you want something that is defined by the jawline as well never never forget to do your neck and then of course you do a bit of your décolletage wow 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 all right you can finish as well if you want with a blush 
I usually don't use blush a lot except from this L'Oreal one because it's my favorite. I think you should be very natural with your blush. Doesn't matter which color you are using, just use something obviously that it suits your skin tone and your undertone and it's not too much mark. And if it is and if you made a mistake, just blend a little bit more. Always up, up, up. I always do here, even with the blush. I didn't add more, I'm just blending. And you can add a little bit of highlighter. I mean, why we should stop now? This time I'm gonna use again the Focal Your Face. I didn't contour my face at all, but they have this great illuminator. Then I put here. I put always a little bit on the top of the nose, little bit here. And, but be super light when you do that, always a little bit on the eyebrow arch. This is the type of makeup look that it makes you very happy and very like, oh yeah, I'm gonna have such a good day today. For the lipstick, using Revlon, um, oh gosh, which color is that? Because you're always asking me what the color of my lipstick, but I mix sometimes so many lipsticks. Raspberry. I never go crazy with lipstick. Sorry, I can talk and put up lipstick in same time. You can have some lip gloss if you want. Look at the final result. Wow. I can't believe it, how easy it was and how so beautiful it looks and it will look so beautiful on YouTube. Let's add a little bit of lip gloss. I'm using the Fenty, always put in the middle and on the cupid bow. Wow, I think I'm gonna do all my makeup like that. I love it so, so much. Don't forget the setting spray. I don't have a fan, so I use my hands. <laughs> professional. I'm so excited about this healthy look. Let me know in the comment section about your foot. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out any videos like this and you should also watch how to declutter the chaos without being overwhelming. Thank you so so much. I love you. See you to the next video. Bye!